So this is a new series uh, for microeconomics and we're going to start off with the header called what is economics and I guess the best answer to that would be that all economics, economic questions uh, arise because we want more than we can get so that pretty much explains most of us we always want the cars uh, the cruise ship tickets the game tickets we want more than our money can buy so that's kind of the economics economic questions that come up and now the, these are definitions that we need to know and these could come up or potentially come up on tests and you should take note of them so scarcity is uh, the inability to satisfy all our wants and that's pretty intuitive um, we have all our, we have all these wants but we only have limited income so there is scarcity and due to scarcity we got to make choices we only have limited income so we got to make choices on what to buy to buy food or to buy games and yeah choices are made uh, choices are made depending on the incentives faced. And an incentive is pretty much a reward or penalty that encourages or discourages an action. So I guess, uh, let's say, um, to, to stand outside in front of class would be a penalty that discourages being late for class. Uh, uh, commissions are pretty much a reward, an incentive reward that encourages you to sell more and those are incentives. And for scarcity, the best example is for me to understand scarcity would involve money and that's because I'm a business degree and yeah, that's that. Now more into the definition of economics. So economics is a social science that studies the choices that individuals, businesses, governments, and entire societies make as they cope with the scarcity and the incentives that influence and reconcile these choices. So pretty much all you need to know is social science uh, focusing on individuals, businesses, governments, and how they cope with the scarcity and the incentives that influence uh, the choice they make. Now, economics is divided into two parts. The first part is microeconomic, and the second part is macroeconomics. And yeah, pretty much for this whole chapter, I'll tell you, I'll tell you when the whole chapter ends. Probably not this video, but uh, some future videos. Uh, pretty much for this whole chapter, we're gonna be uh, talking about definitions mostly, and it's not really that important. I'll label the the important parts that are, may potentially be on tests. So back to what we're talking about, microeconomics, pretty much it studies the individual businesses and the choices made by them, also the effects of the choices on markets and governments. And macroeconomics study the national and global economies and their performances. So pretty much uh, you can say that microeconomics studies the individual or studies um, studies things that are things that are small, not the whole country. When we study the whole country, that is when we are studying about um, macroeconomics. But when we're studying some small entity like a business or an individual, that's when we're talking about microeconomics. And this is where I'll uh, leave us off on for the next video. And for the next video, we'll probably be talking about two big economic questions since that's why I see next. But thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next.